Hello folks, good to see you. I hope that everything sounds okay. I'm using a new audio setup, uh, as is, I think, the Twitch streamer want. Uh, I have uh, once again <laughs> changed my audio setup to include new stuff. Just let me know in the chat if it sounds okay. And as it is 11.55 p.m. here, I'm going to get right started. Good morning, Briab. I'm going to get right started into the first broken thing I see in Duolingo, which is travel. That sounds like fun. Er ist Schweizer. Er ist Schweizer. I'm sorry, he is Swiss. Er fährt alle Strecken. Yes, you are. He drives all routes. Ooh, der Bahn is schnell. Der Zeug. Oh, okay. Strecke ist wirklich kurz. The uh, road is really short. Root. Okay. Ich bin Schweizer. Wo sind die Sehenswürdigkeiten? I gave that a <laughs> uh, Colonel Clink read. Let's turn up the audio. There we go. That's better. Where are the um, sites? Sites? Sites. Oh, it doesn't. It didn't like the way I spelled it. That's fine. Wir fahren nach Frankreich. Wir fahren nach Frankreich. Okay, you're driving to France, and you're gonna have to forgive me if I'm missing umlauts. Kind of want to get through to make sure I finish the lesson as fast as possible. Four minutes. Uh, many, some, 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 some fish fly. Okay. Der Zug. This is Numlaut. Fährt nach. Oh, I'm not going to get this right. Österreich. Oh, I wrote not. Wo ist die Bushaltestelle? Where is the bus stop? Er ist Schweizer. Es sind Ferien. It is. They are. Sind is plural. Ferries? Ferien. Vacation time. It is vacation time. Unsere Nachbarn sind Schweizer. Unsere Nachbarn sind Schweizer. Our neighbors are Swiss. Okay. Die Ferien sind zu kurz. The vacation days too short. The holidays. Mit diesem Zug. Okay. Mit diesem. Sorry, I apologize. I'm a little more hassled than I'd like to be. Like holidays. Du aus nope. Frankreich? <laughs> to aus Frankreich. Wie komme ich zur Bushaltestelle? Wie komme oh nope. Different kind of comma. Wie komme ich zur Bushaltestelle? Hello. Wie komme ich zur Bushaltestelle? Sir. Die Strecke ist kurz. Skirts. There is mine. Oh, it's like Führer or something, isn't it? It's like Strecke Führer, Reise Führer. Is it mine or the miner? Mine, Reise Führer. Okay. Der Zeug ist schnell. We're going through our mistakes. Uh, the path, road, path, what the way. The route. The route is really short. Wo sind Excellent. Die Sehenswürdigkeiten? Where are the sites? Der Zug fährt nach Österreich. Der Zug fährt nach Österreich. There we go. Die One Ferien type. sind zu kurz. The holidays are too short. Excellent. Actually, I was really bad with Ferien, so I'm glad we're working on that. Do you like holidays? Are you on vacation? No. Are you on vacation? Was? 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 
Okay. Let's jump over and memorize. I don't really have a street there, but I'd like to. Ausgehen. Sehenswert. Sehenswert. Ziemlich. Okay. Seem like. Ziemlich. Viel. Dieser. Die. Dieser. That's the one. Dieses. Oh, it's already Billig. midnight. Billig. Oh, hey. Beliebt. At least we kept our streak. Beliebt. I misspelled believed. That's fine. Der Café. Uns empfehlen. Uns empfehlen. That's the one. Uns empfehlen. Beliebt. Beliebt. Yeah. Heute ist jetzt Donner's Tag. Um, wo kann man etwas trinken gehen? Oh, where can we go for some drinks? Wo kann man etwas trinken gehen? You know, that sounds like a terrific idea. Where did the... <laughs> so I finally saw a video. Also, I like that when I click on the chat, it still shows me the rules, which is actually good. So I should keep those in mind, but... Where did the the Wednesday My Dudes thing... The first time I saw that was on a Discord, and... I didn't get like much context, but it's still funny. And then today I finally saw some hilarious video where there's like a frog basically singing that song or singing a song about it's Wednesday, my dudes. I thought that was pretty funny. Leider. Teuer. Teuer ist es. Voll. 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 Keeping it extremely topical. Das Currywurst Museum. Das Currywurst Museum. Gotta know where that is. If you don't know where the Currywurst Museum is, I don't think you'll be accepted in Germany. At least that's what I've been told. Uh, let's see. Speaking of leaderboards, I know I'm not doing great on Duolingo. Oh, that's so funny. The Germany subreddit. I gotta check that out someday. Uh, so yeah, not doing great. Uh, probably just out of the demotion zone. This, this week's been tough for, for German, as you can see from my uh, progress chart here. This whole month, really. But I'm ho hopeful, because when I stream, I tend to do a little bit more. And that, that definitely helps out. This is mit Falkmeiner Kerle? I don't know that word. I gotta look that up. This is Kerle. Is that an I or an L? Guys. Oh, so good. I kill it. How do you, oh, let me get a pronunciation too. I'm here on a translation service that shall be not be named. It'll just copy it. It will copy it. Here we go. You need to hear this. Es ist Mittwoch, meine Kerle. Kerle. I love the way computers pronounce words. I've been one of my, I don't know. I, I've, al I've always been interested or not always, but for a very long time, I've been interested in text to speech, just in where we're at with it. And like, obviously I have no, I'm not skilled enough in language to understand a lot of the different parts to it, but I definitely love. I love hearing where we're at with it. And I think in a lot of ways, it hasn't really improved much in the last, oh my gosh, almost 30 years. Like, obviously it has to the point where we can have like more natural sounding, uh, like assistants, virtual assistants and things, but. Es ist Mittwoch, meine Kerle. It's Wednesday, my guys. Like the. Like clearly, like someone has put so much work into. It's Wednesday, my guys. But then you get. Es ist Mittwoch, meine Kerle. Like that actually might be impressive for where we're at. I have no idea in terms of like rendering German speech, but. It's Wednesday, my guys. Sounds a million times more natural than the robotic voice that's doing the German. 
And I just think that's interesting. Um, no offense to anyone who's working on the girl trans. Like, I think, I think clearly like this is not necessarily making money for Google. So I hope it, they keep it around, but you know, if it goes away, whatever, uh, thank goodness. Thank goodness. It's competitive. Yeah, it does. It does sound slow. Honestly, it being slow is sort of helpful for me because a lot of German words, when you like throw them, when you like get a long word, like bus um, it can be a little bit difficult. Like if we flip this around, Oh, what is it? Wo ist mein? Wo ist das? Was? I don't even know it's das. Stella. There we go. So of course I'll like know how to spell it. All these easy things. Let's switch to German. And. Wo ist das Bushaltestelle? Where is the bus stop? Like there's no contest there. And then the other, of course, I think wildest part of this is like, you know, like so much of this research is being done in universities and then like it just ends up in this commercial enterprise, but that's a long story, not fun. Let's go back to learning German. Uh, maybe we'll do another uh, memorize. It's gonna ask me to do this again because I misspelled it. That's fine, it's good. Still not sure. I before E, I after E. Der Beruf. Der Beruf. What a word. Arbeiten. Arbeiten. Acht. Acht. Fünf. Fünf. What? Fünf. Oh, is that like fünf saying? That's what I get for not listening to the full clip. Der Lehrer. Die Lehrerin. Der Lehrer. Die Lehrerin. Fünf. There we go. Die Bude. Der Student. Der Student. Der Verkäufer. Die Verkäuferin. Der Verkäufer. Die Verkäuferin. Like th this sounds so much more natural. 20. 20. Zeigen. 14. 14. 2. Not a problem, guys. Bribe in the chat said, uh, language is such an organic and fundamentally human thing. I'm still standard how difficult it is to get a computer to do, to do it. Yes. No, you're totally, you're absolutely right. It's so cool that like, it's possible to break it down and to turn it into something that computer can reproduce at all. Um, I'll never forget like one of the first, one of my favorite things to do, one of my favorite things to do was, um, when I was pretty young was to play around with like, um, Eliza bots. And these were an early form of, what people thought was artificial intelligence and as far as I can still is extremely artificial and on the artificial end of the intelligence. And I thought it was so cool that I could like form like vaguely, vaguely realistic sentences in reply to whatever you type. So you type in some nonsense, it would come back at you. And like, maybe it actually is supposed to be like a psychology type of experiment. Maybe it was actually useful for you. I'm sure if you search for Eliza bot, that's E L I Z, -Z A you come up with others but um it uh it, it was so impressive to see that work at all like just like because i had some vague idea as a child of how complicated computers were in terms of how to program them and to see it like work with natural language this like thing that even as a you know even as a kid like kids of course know how complicated language is because we're like being trained on the drilled on the rules of it And then, of course, like later on, you'd see very rudimentary text to speech in the 90s. And I think uh, Microsoft even bundled some with Windows and everyone was very proud of his demo. But I, I think that I think that this is a good example of how like it's still complicated. <laughs> uh, so this is an interesting one. So 
This is R, and then either her or maybe they or she. So is she married? This is the question. Oh, are you married? Excuse me. Yeah. You. She is apparently the a, another version of that. Er hat sechs Enkel und 17 Urenkel. Six Enkel. Now that we're out of the uh, torturous pre midnight zone, <laughs> take our time. Er hat sechs Enkel und 17 Urenkel. So that's um, he had he has six uh, nephews and 17 I'm not sure what her ankle is is that oh we'll find out six or excuse me six grandchildren and 17 great-grandchildren so that is that is right the er like er gross mother is always great er ist ihr cousin. Easy one. He is her cousin. Ich bin nicht verheiratet. I am not married, is what this thing is saying. And then, like, yeah, as you can see, like Duolingo has also done so much work to improve their their text to speech, like giving these characters like individual voices. Ich bin nicht verheiratet. Oh, I misspelled verheiratet. What did I misspell? Got the first half right. V H V E H. V E R, excuse me, H comes next. E I R. And then oh, I add an extra R and I see. Verheir at it. Ich bin nicht verheiratet. Verheir at it. Yeah. There's no second R. Just, or, well, there's one second R, but there's no third. <laughs> Wie viele Nichten und Neffen hast du? How many? Let me switch my keyboard to English. Nieces and nephews do you? Wann ist die Hochzeit? The Hochzeit. When is the wedding? Wo ist meine Urgroßmutter? Where is my great grandmother? Sie sind Zwillinge. They are cousins. Is that right? Twins? Twins. Yep. Ich mag meine Urgroßmutter. Meine Cousinen sind Babys. I love in German babies is an English loan word, so it's B A B Y S. No I E S. Ich habe drei Cousins. I'm not sure about cousins. I wonder if that's a loan word or what, because it's. It does feel like it. Acht. Well, what is. One of them is Neffin. What is the other one? Is it. Neffin und Nickton, right. Like, talk to her. Nothing. Is Nefin uppercase or lowercase? Dry. Nickton. Probably is uppercase for Nefin und Nickton. My Neffe is schön. My Neffe is schön. What? Oh, Neffe. Not Neffe. Ich bin verheiratet. All right, where are we going? We got the wrong, uh, too many R's here. I think we got now, hopefully. Yeah, so good. Er ist mein Neffe. He is my nephew. So there's only the N afterwards when it's plural. Mein Cousin is vegetarian. Zinna? Mein Cousin is vegetarian. Mm. 
Mein Cousin ist Vegetarier. I could swear I heard something else after the cousin there to add an E or something. Mein Cousin is Nope. Alright. Wir sind Cousins. Wir sind Cousins. Ich habe acht Neffen und drei Nichten. Neffe und drei Nichten. Oh, Neffen. I forgot the other N. Ich habe einen Zwilling. Ich habe eine Zwilling. Ich habe einen Zwilling. So, that is always so tough with this to hear and process the end to some of these words and the start to some to others. Like if it's a Z, is it a Z, oder S. And then if the word ends in E oder E N. Ich habe einen Zwilling. That I should have picked out though. Seid ihr verheiratet? This is the you instead of her, she. Ja, ich bin verheiratet. Mein Neffe ist schön. There we go. Mein Cousin ist Vegetarier. Still sounds like Cousina. I misspelled Vegetaria. Tut mir leid, Cousina. Ich habe acht Neffen und drei Nichten. Ich habe acht. Ich habe acht Neffen und drei Nichten. Drei. Nichten? Ich habe acht Neffen und drei Nichten. Sorry, just messing with some audio levels there. Ich habe einen Zwilling. Ich habe einen Zwilling. There we go. I have a twin. Ich habe einen Zwilling. Oh, one, that makes me wonder. I wonder if that movie Twins holds up. With uh, was it, Danny DeVito and Arnold Schwarzenegger? Could be good. Fünfzig Hemden. There we go. Das sind nicht 82 Nudeln. Wait, this is a good sentence. I like the sentence. Das sind nicht 82 Nudeln. So here I think we have um, an older uh, text to speech engine from Duolingo because they haven't they haven't replaced all of them yet. I'll we'll pop this into Google Translate here and see how this sounds. Das sind nicht 82 Nudeln. So besides, yeah, besides being slow, it does sound pretty good to me. But again, I'm not a native speaker, so. Das sind nicht 82 Nudeln. 100%. I actually really love... Um, The efficiency of like a phrase like this because you're getting you get rid of the a and then hundred I don't know why it sounds cool to me and then percent much cooler than percent Julia hat 82 Hosen we have an swiadoxic so it's 82 
pairs of pants, pants. Actually, probably is important to specify. Er ist 60. That is a lot of pants. I don't know how many pairs of pants I have. I have no idea. There is... I think I have... Not... I mean, not too many. I don't really need them here. I've been... You wear shorts all year round in Hawaii. Well, that's it. Let me, uh... Let's fix this thing here. I'm so far forward in the camera. There we go. Weren't the uh, OBS view? Er ist uh, drei und zwanzig. Oh. Oder vier und zwanzig. Oder be drei und zwanzig oder vier und zwanzig. Sie haben dreißig Tiere. Yeah, I think I have me. I have maybe a few more than three, but that's just because it's it's hard to get rid of stuff. Thirty animals, or they? Excuse me. This is they. They have. This uh, I, this always tricks me up. Tricks me up. The Z, or meaning either she or they, and then you have to tell by the next word, which in this case is plural. So we're not just talking about one person. We're talking about they have thirty animals, which is good because one person having around thirty animals is too much. That's a farm. 50 is a time. I mean, it's good if you have a farm. I know. 50 is a time. I think so. Right. 50 is a number. 50 is a number. Ich bin schon 24. Oh, English. I am. Oh, is this person, is this the birthday trick where you say, I am. And so on, say I am twenty-four. Yeah, I'm twenty-four. That's the birthday trick. I'm twenty-four again. Again? I'm already too many lied. I always get confused about the different, uh, non-pretty or handsome version of Sean. 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 Yeah. Ich habe vierundzwanzig Hemden. Yo. So take. Twenty-four shirts. That's cool. Thirty von ihnen sind Frauen. Thirty. Thirty of them are women. Yeah. Seventy Tiere. D. Alterna. Alterna. I'll turn, yeah. Solin, is that right? Yeah, procent. Is that right? D but D I'll turn but solid via procent. It is right, but I misspelled something. B E Z A H. Okay. One second, I want to take a drink here. If I can remember the correct input to mute. Oh, that should definitely be muted. This, this is the one. Here we go. Guten Tag, Mrs. Nuclear Monster. Just chatting about our German and misspelling it. Er hat zwei Prozent. He has two percent. What? Oh, I was supposed to write it in German? Of course. Of course.
Sie ist... Hmm. Sie ist 82. 10% sind neu. 10% sind neu. Ich bin nicht 60, sondern 16. That makes a lot of sense. Ist sie 60 oder 70? Ist sie 60 oder 70? Ist sie? Ist sie 60 oder 70? I guess it's another thing you have to consider when you're, we were talking about text to speech earlier. So, uh, it's another thing you have to consider, I suppose, is, is, uh, readability of the, of the speech that the, uh, system generates. Ist sie 60 oder 70? Is she 60 or 70? Er hat 40 Kinder. Er hat 40 Kinder. 40? So, 40? Oh, I forgot the Kinder. Er ist 23 oder 24. I'm sorry. Did that just say that person has four, 40 children? That's too many. There, that is a lot of children. <laughs> er ist 23 oder 24. What did I misspell? Dry und. Oh, I forgot the Z, the second, or uh, yeah, second Z in Zwanzig. That's okay. Ich bin schon 24. I am. Yeah, that's true. Life goal. No. This is not. The Sims 100 Baby Challenge is not a good life call. <laughs> I am already here we go I am already 24 40 nuclear monsters too many I can't imagine like managing all of their passwords and usernames and email accounts er hat zwei Prozent. Er hat 40 Kinder. Alright. Got some numbers back in business. Going from 60 XP to 80. 15th place. That's a good spot. Let's go over to... They all... They all get the, the same passwords? No, they cannot all get the same passwords. And that is not my top concern, but you know, uh, I just, I just think of like my daily stuff that I have to deal with, with the, the one, uh, junior and yeah, uh, managing his passwords is actually difficult. Eins. That ain't it. Six. That's it. Six. Die Studentin, die Studentin. Auch. The way, the, the way it said die Studentin was weird. I guess I can't let that go. Es ist, du willst. Ihr wollt. Oh, ihr wollt is plural, so. Uh, du willst. Du willst. Polen. Password kid one. <laughs> that's, that's smart. Or well, it works. It works until, until there's one leak, one like a uh, data breach. Holen, holen. Ich kann. It can. Is that it? Ich kann. Oh, the problem with the. Ich kann. Yeah. So good. I do use a password manager, son. Or Brie, I have, excuse me. <laughs> Slip on the tongue there. Having, uh, haven't even had a beer tonight. Uh, but the, uh, 
the funny thing is having a master password for or main password for another person's password manager is very strange and I don't remember it. So I have to put that password into the password manager that, that uh, I use and it's confusing. Tanzen. Sieben. I have no idea how other parents are doing it. Können. Können. Ich besuche. Ich besuche. Luca. Kommen. What? Was? Kommen. 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 Ja. Fast. Fast. Yeah, that that's is right. Ich bleibe fast five fucking. Actually, I want. Where are the? I want to get um, local stuff. Bleiben. Bleiben. Yeah, bleiben. Let's go. Aus Los geht's. Großbritannien. Aus Großbritannien. Yeah, yeah, Wie yeah, lange? yeah. Be lange. How long? Be lange. Aus Irland. Aus Irland. Aus Irland. Whoa. 17. They put some serious work into that R. <laughs> you know, honestly, taping them to the back of the keyboard, like. The pat the you know the security people that I talk to, or the that I talk well some of the ones I talk to, but also some of the security people that I follow, really recommend writing down passwords. And like honestly, it's not that bad. If if that's the alternative versus a password manager, like you're never if someone you know someone's never going to use a password manager, writing them down like a book is actually terrific because if you can give someone uh, a method for generating good passwords like Diceware or whatever you're going to use. And and Diceware is just a, a, a thing where you use basically like dice to... It, it's just random, like three random words or whatever. And writing those passwords down in a book, so much better than just like using one or two different passwords. Um, it's a good method. Yeah, it, it's not it's not great. I mean, like in terms of physical security, it's it's not good at all. But the main threat most people face these days is, in terms of technical security, is that their passwords are leaked all the time. 17. 17. Der Tag. Die Tage. Der Tag. Die Tage. Oh my god. Die Woche. No. Die Woche. Die Mrs. Nuclear Der Monster Monat. likes. Die Monate. Mrs. Nuclear Monster likes to say things to to make me upset. Der Monat. Die Monate. Deutsch. Fortunately, I know she's joking. Deutsch. Drei. Mehr. Hier. Hier. One, I want to learn with locals. That's what I want. Gute Nacht. Run, Robert, dice roller. <laughs> that would be funny. Bobby dice roller. Uh, no, that would be funny though. Good, good callback. I almost searched for Robert dice roller. I was actually looking for diceware. Here we go. Yeah, this is this is diceware. I uh, will just look up the Wikipedia for it. So yeah, a method for creating passphrases, passwords, and other cryptographic variables using ordinary dice. Because the most important th or one of the most important things about uh, Bobby is awesome. Agreed. Uh, one of the most important things about dice or, or, or the the whole point of the diceware is just to make hard to guess and long. Uh, passwords or passphrases so like uh your famous purple monkey dishwasher from the simpsons or whatever that is um that's three like basically random words that mean nothing together can't be guessed unlikely for a computer to guess them and the longer that they are the better one second i think i'm about to sneeze so we are gonna hit the be right
Oh no, my passwords. <laughs> yeah, let's keep going. Yeah, passphrases are tough on mobile. It's, it's um, you know, a lot of people choose, or some people choose to use bi let biometrics unlock uh, their, their password managers and stuff like this. And that can be a good solution to work around or just getting very fast at typing that password or that passphrase. It's tough, tough, very tough, very tough. Okay, it's enough security chat. Let's get some of these locals. Good to not. Oh, this is a tough one. Good, they've got both good evening and good night. This is good night. Good evening is good Abend. Gesundheit. 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 Wo? Wo? Where? Wo? Gut und dir? Just a bit. Hilfe. Warum nicht? Not. Warum nicht? Klingt gut. Klingt Sounds gut. good. Guten Appetit. Oh my gosh, that sounds brutal. I actually had a problem with a biometric reader a long time ago. Was this, this was at a this was when I was doing um systems and registration services, like I was uh, uh the plate term well, I was working on the racks, shall we say. And I got locked into a co-location center, basically. A very high security co-location center because uh, the biometric reader would not scan my hand properly. And, and trying to renew a passport and having it take extra long, that sounds brutal. All right. Go back to some Duolingo here and get some XP back in Duolingo town. Uh, dative. I've got to do dative. It's so tough, but I've got to get through it. It's just translating the D dare das. At least we're going to English this time. That that shouldn't be so hard. They are from any families. Aus welchem Land? I imagine if you don't have, if for some reason they can't get fingerprints, maybe they try like toes or something. I have no idea. Or just require more documentation. That's very curious. Aus welchem Land? Which country? Wir helfen beiden. Welchem Freund schreibst du? Which friend are you writing to? Sie danken beiden. Die Orange gehört uns beiden. Die Tasche gehört dieser Frau. Tasche gehört. Was? There we go. Was? Die Tasche gehört dieser Frau. Diese? Diese? No. Diese. Diese oder diese? Die Tasche gehört dieser Frau. Die Tasche 
gehört. Diese Frau. I think it's without the R. Oh no, it's got to be the R. It's got to have the R. R. I think. Let's find out. Yeah. All right. I wish I had magical ice cream procuring powers too, Mrs. Nuclear Monster. Ich zeige dieser Frau den Garten. I'm showing this woman the garden. All right. Diese Tasha. What? We actually just typed this in in German, didn't we? He's a Tasha. What? Maybe it's just D or D or Das D. Maybe it's just D. Tasha. What? D's a Frau. Yeah. All right. <laughs> du bist meine. Du bist meine Frau. Was gibst du diesem Hund? Ich habe keine andere Frau. Was gibst du diesem Hund? Du diesem. Yeah, this translation for dative is always so difficult. Z Duncan. Biden. Biden. Welche Mann gibt sie Blumen? Welche Mann gibt sie Blumen? To which man does she give flowers? Welcome man gives you blooming. Who are you giving flowers to? Mrs. Nuclear Monster, I see you in the chat. I don't have any ladies bag, but who's flowers? That's what I want to know. Here, Gaben. Oh, okay. So we're probably going to end up putting the, the, the man at the end of the sentence and then putting the apple first. So we're going to say, oh boy, this is tough. This is why I have a hard time with dative. So I think the apple part remains the same and then it's the dare man will become dem man possibly. Let's see. So wir geben einen apple. Einen Weissignet. Okay, if you're given einen Apfel, dem man. Nein, diesem man einen Apfel. Einen Apfel was richtig, but if you're given was, was right. Ein Apfel was right, but diesem man. And, and so at least I got the, the ending right of man. Not so hard though, because I'm just switching from, you like switch one gender away for the preceding word when you, when you either, or the article, I guess, when you go from into dative mode. We go full blown veal in here. Yeah, it worked. Common aus viele familia. Familian, wheel in familian. Okay. Hopefully get that right next time. Ich gebe brought too many ducks zu vielen. Was is that? Das Enten. It gave, oh no, it gave a villain Enten brought. Huh. That's interesting. I wonder, so we're, we're moving the brought to the end of the sentence. I guess that makes sense. Cause you, maybe you don't want that. That structure could be weird. Let's move on. 
see Duncan Biden. Yeah, all right. Oh, here we go. Who gave in Diesem Man Einen Affel? Yeah. Progress. The common Ausfielen Familien. Yeah, I'm not sure about what game to play after. I was thinking about that. I've got I've got a lot of games that have been on my mind lately, but I've also had a hard time not playing anything besides uh, the Cowboy game, Red Dead Redemption 2. I'm kind of wrapping that one up, and it's actually almost in a, the, a fantastic place. Um... And you can do so much in it, like you can do bounty hunting, or you can do like stuff for your family at the point where I'm at in the game. Uh, if, yeah, I don't want to spoil too much about it if someone's still interested, because it's, I think it's a game that should be played. And it, it's such a... Red Dead 2, it's like, it's one of these games that comes from a huge company, and like, you know the developers were all treated like garbage. It gave a... It gave in, it gave a feeling and brought. Yeah, so good. But yeah, so it, it's a tough game. I uh, I really dig, I really dig Red Dead 2 though. It, it really speaks to me, I think. Like, of course, of course it does. I'm in the target audience, but uh, I've, I've beaten most of the game and I'm just about to wrap it up. So maybe that, maybe something else. Yeah, a ton of other stuff to look at. Like I recently uh, tried Loop Hero and actually Deathloop. Funny that those two games have similar names. And um, hmm, what else? Got a bunch of stuff to look at. I also want to check out uh, Bat Egg, a game from uh, the person what made, uh, what is it? Uh, uh, hive time. So maybe that'll be something we check out real quick. I don't want to dedicate a huge amount of time to it. Cause I don't think it, I, well, I don't know how, what it'll take or, or how, um, not what it take, but how, uh, check for an update in the, there we go. I've got the itch launcher running, just checking for a new version of Bat Egg, and it found one. It's updating. I actually kind of like to check out Hive Time and Bat Egg. I haven't checked out either in a long time. Okay, so those are both updated. So maybe maybe today I'll be an itch IO day because that kind of actually fits with my style. I used to play a lot of more indie games on stream. So, uh, yeah. And maybe we can do some hive time, some bad egg, a little uh, cheeseness, business. Uh, we'll start that in just one second. Let me um, let's, let me uh, put this on the break screen for a second while I get those set up, and we'll be right back.
All right, folks. Microphone took a little sync there, but we are back. I'm gonna. Uh, let's see. Let me fire up. Oh my! I gotta adjust the the camera location here on this screen too. Let's jump into Hive Time. I'm gonna cut the music. And yeah, about almost an hour of German. That's very good. That's so much better than I typically get unless I'm streaming. So. I'm very thankful for the motivation. So thank you all for sticking around for that. Let's hop into hive time here and then we'll check out some bat egg. So actually this is as a, a maintainer of a game, or a few games, but one that is one that actually like spend any time on this prompt like I actually kind of want to take a screenshot of this because I know that uh, cheeseness uh, cheese uh, who works on this game would have put a lot of thought into how to present this update dialogue and <laughs> I would love to steal that for IO Quake 3 so Yes, I do want Hive Time to let me know a new version available. Now I'm very curious, does... Oh, it's telling me it's up to date. And it's telling me a few th new things and the current version. The version is kind of not very readable, but that's kind of what you get these days with, with versioning of anything. Oh, I apologize. You can't see the game. That's a problem. Let me change my capture mode here. Yeah. Let's go full screen. Big transparency. Hopefully now, hopefully the game will be captured. Oh, you know what? And there's actually like a streamer mode in this game. Let me see. Yeah, now you can see it. Where is, I know there's some kind of streamer mode. Where is it? I have to do it while I'm in game. Probably won't be in video, would it? Okay. Community. Yes. This is one of the new things, enable chat integration. <laughs> Another very responsible, reasonable war warning. Hey, geez. Good to see you. I was hoping you'd stop by. Uh, yes. Let me figure out how this works with Twitch. <laughs> um, hmm. Pre-fill for Twitch. Yes. Yes. Chat channel. Da, 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 da. Maker monsters. Chat username. Justin Fan one. Oh, so this is pre-filled? Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Uh, sh no, we're not going to do that. We're going to do that. We're going to leave this here. I actually love that. It's pre-filled for Libera, the new chat service. Disconnected. Get connected. How do I get it connected? It's good. Show instructions. Let's do that. Okay. What's the channel name? Okay. Perfect. Show instructions. Uh... That's awesome. I had no idea that it supported that actually. I wonder, can there be multiple connections? I guess there must be except those because there's probably like a billion bots that connect via that. Yes, the old Justin TV integration. Okay. So, oh, this scroll bar, look at this scroll bar. What is this? This is amazing. I don't think I've ever seen a scroll bar like that. That's so awesome. It fits with the design. I actually love uh, stuff like that. Here we go. So uh, blah, blah, blah. Here's the, here's the community interaction features. Uh, I probably should have read this beforehand. <laughs> Participants can vote on events by typing A or B. And you can do gift voting. 
So hashtag A or hashtag B. Uh, and then you can do a gift voting for what happens during uh, when. Oh, for the player to receive gifts periodically. That's awesome. Chat bees. Ooh, chat bees. That's awesome. So people get uh, bees. Oh, you can and do you can do uppercase help. Yeah, <laughs> I'm sure this took a bunch of work. And I'm gonna try to turn off the quality assurance part of my brain. <laughs> But it looks awesome. Uh, I don't. I don't see any problems with it. I just the quality assurance part of my brain wants to like break things. <laughs> and it's very hard. Like even to this day, it's been a long time since I prof was a professional, uh, professionally engaged in quality assurance. Uh, but yeah. So yeah. All right. I think I'm actually, yeah, here we go. So we should, we should be, are we good to go? What, what do we need to do here? Ah, good, 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 good. Connected. Excellent. So we should have hopefully Justin one in the chat. And if we go make a new hive, uh, do I still have a hive? Would it find it? No, it wouldn't find it. It's been a long time. Let's go new hive. Uh, I do want the tutorials. It's been a long, long time. I'm excited. Special B limit. Let's leave it to default. Oh, the que custom queen name. Should I do it? Nah, we'll just we'll just leave it as whatever the default is. Start new hive. Let's get those tutorials. I think it's good uh, when you're showing a game too to, sh to show the tutorials. Welcome to Hive Time. Here's a rundown of common controls. Select the interact, left click, pan, talk, camera, hold, middle click, toggle, inspect space. Got it. What's the. Are these different options? Oh, yeah, I bet these are for the gamepad. Or, yep. That was my question. Oh, they're voting options. I see. Very cool. Oh, wow. They're extremely responsive, too. Huh. Interesting. First hive. A new hive consists of a throne room surrounded by 12 under construction empty cells. Cells are constructed by worker bees and builder bees when you get them. Who visit construction sites automatically? New empty cells can only be constructed on white grid tiles adjacent to existing cells. Got it. First build and exit. Perfect. Exits allow worker bees or forager bees to leave the hive to gather pollen and nectar. Filled dots indicate how many bees are outside. Up to three bees can leave via an exit at once. Left click on an empty cell, then select the resource cell submenu and choose exit to build one. Got it. Let's uh, get an empty cell here. And actually this is an empty. And we're going to do blah, blah, blah. Roll cells, resource cells, storage cells, destroy. Roll cells, no resource cells. Exit, that's the one. <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> okay, next build a wax number. We've got uh, cheese actually as a bee. It's good. Bees will use wax assemblers to replenish your wax stores at the cost of pollen and nectar. Some cell types like wax assembler take up multiple cells. Left click the empty cells with adjacent empty cells above it and below it, and then build a wax assembler from resource submit resource assembly. Huh. Uh, so we gotta go to the resource cells, wax assembler, and that's what we need. We got our exit here. <laughs> I love seeing people in chat represent as bees. 
There's the commands. Uh, command, or eat, drink, pickers. Oh, I missed some of them. Somewhere there's a whole bunch. Feel free to type it again. Or we missed it. Fill that storage. The hive makes use of five types of resources. Pollen and nectar are forged from exit cells. Wax, honey, and jelly are produced at assemblies or refineries by worker bees at the cost of existing resources. Bees take time to do the work, sit back and wait for your pollen and nectar stores to fill. Cool. Your cells, got it. Max and honey, jelly produce assemblers or refineries by worker bees, the classics. Got it. I think I got it. Yeah, nursery's coming next. I was expecting that. Go to roll, nursery, put it over here. Actually, it's funny, I always build, I think I always build my hives in the same configuration at the start. There's equal population growth. So here's where I think it wants you to yeah adjust uh, the number of workers that are bee sitters. So we're going to left click on the nursery and select population. Use the sliders in the population man management screen to increase the chance for new bee sitters. Population. Builders, foragers, defenders, bee sitters. There we go. One. Some more. Be seeing some important job. Hashtag B. What a cool game. On oh, the depth of field. Looks so good. Got a queen thing coming up. Uncertain successor, Queen Chidi is never sure whether she does a good as good a job as past queens, and sometimes she has to work at finding confidence, don't we all? Got a list of bees here. Queens chat bees are here. Mrs. Nuclear Monster. Valiant Cheese. Yeah. Oh, there's an Easter egg. I recognize that Easter egg. This this is cheese here. This is the cheese bee. It's got its own little cheeses flying around. That's so cute. There is a way in uh, Twitch to switch to a low latency player, but then you lose on on uh, mobile. But then you lose the ability to uh, what is it? You lose the ability to go picture in picture. Get a workshop here. Charts, graphs. It's so tough. It's, I'm like all of game design, I know is a challenge. And then you're, you get locked into that technical debt. So cheese in chat said, uh, I wish I'd thought ahead of a bit more. There's a lot of stuff that's kind of stuck as it is a legacy of decisions that I made during the jam. And the big one is that the UI isn't scalable. That kind of stuff is brutal. And especially when you're making for a game jam. Never, I don't even. I, may, I must have been. Maybe I engaged with the tech tree before, but I don't remember. So I need more of this. Oh, nectar. I need more nectar. Oh, I need more space. I need uh, whatever warehouse is storage cells. Yeah, I need nectar storage so I can build, so I can store it more. I need some pollen storage.
That's, I mean, that's totally it, right? That's like, that's so much of working on any kind of software project is the fun stuff is always, always trumps the stuff that like, the, like the, you know, the whatever features. Oh, I love seeing the production. Uh, we've got a gift vote vote going on. There's another minute left or so to kill bee sitters. Oh no, or big bees. So if you vote for number one and number two in the chat, you'll be voting for number one is uh, kill bee sitters, which is a, bit, a negative one, or big bees is number two. Workshops unlock the builder role as well as the ability to research new construction options and other perks. Excuse me. Workshops and other role specific cells also increase the population capacity for that role. When a role population is over capacity, Bees of that role will live half their normal life, lifespan. That's interesting. Big bees. I think you got a little bit extra time on there because I'm going through these. Uh, research needs builders to progress. Interesting. Each cell has room for three working bees. Excuse me. Uh, but Wax assemblers have room for nine workers. Left click on a workshop, select research, and choose any new research item. Remember, also spawn some builders. We should. Oh, we need some more uh, stuff. Let's go into here. Population control. Or, or eugenics. <laughs> oh no. Oh, <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, we we probably should get some builders, huh? But we also need foragers. Capacity determined. Oh, I love actually that tells you what you need for each of these. Like the map room and the defenders. We've also got a hive life. Personal hurdles. Valiant Cheese thinks Zoe is pretty cool and like to be friends, but feels intimidated by their acerbic nature. Yeah, that that that's tough. What is this little icon next to the uh, Easter egg Valley cheese here now? Maybe that's because of the chat. Oh, that's because of the chat. Yeah. Oh, and it's a developer Easter egg icon. We've got four seconds, three seconds left. We've got voting for Big Bees is the winner. Oh, we got the Big Bees. That's so funny. This is Snickler Monster. I think your B has a loo roll, as, as the British would say, or a toilet paper roll as a hat at the moment. The Big Bees is very good. I am a fan of the Big Bees Easter egg. Oh good, we're maxed out on a bunch of stuff. We can buy some more research. Or upgrade our research to get a map room. Max storage. Let's get a map room. There we go. Current research map room. Oh, we're back to some regular bees. Oh, right, right, right. Supply train. That's another one on the itch page I need to check out. So many good games. Alright, let's um So I see the term of a hive limit cells. Okay. I need to build more cells. Cells over here. Give me some more over here. Yeah, spend wax to make wax. What I always say. Us, there's Albert, Will, there's Cheese, and uh, very good. Oh, you can use shift to repeat build commands. That's cool. 
Oh, when I last played? I wish I could say, unfortunately time is like... Right now time is... Very interesting for me. Uh, I could not say when I last played, it's been a while. I know, I think actually Mrs. Nuclear Monster played more than... Mrs. Nuclear Monster definitely played more than I did. She got really deep into it for a while. There have been so many changes since I last played. It's probably, it's probably before it was... Well, maybe, I don't know if it was pre-release, but it was very early. But I am happy to be checking out Hive Time again. Cold season, forages workers can't travel far, as far and won't be able to collect as much pollen or nectar. That's interesting. Poor cold bee. That'll be okay. Yeah, no, I definitely got a key before release. And we were definitely checking out on the beta. I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure one of us at least is in the credits for beta testing. I'm not sure if I would have like, uh, uh, if I were about out of that just because I don't feel like I did as much, but I, I actually honestly don't remember. <laughs> foundation of successful, ah, the foundation of a successful hive. Your hive has a production popula productive population and you're able to have new bees specialize in particular roles. Continue to grow your hive with storage, production, and role focused facilities. Check the beepedia for further help tips if you need. Ooh, that's an interesting point. Research jelly production and produce 600 jelly before the current queen passes away. Okay. That's just me in my uh, typical dad role of skipping over death. <laughs> Thank you. I worked on a lot of games in my life and didn't get credit in as many of them. And like some of them are big games and it really made me sad. Uh, like the people a lot of people who worked on them weren't credited so it's important to give credit thank you for caring about that better late than never tomorrow watch b track six the unpollinated country for the first time last night and can't stop buzzing about it i know it's a good movie Let's go, let's get some, so we need jelly production sense like, oh, and we've got, we've got, let's pause for a second because we've got a bunch of resources and I need to spend, I need to spend those resources on some research, it sounds like. We've got the map room, oh, we need to build a map room. And maybe more storage. storage pollen storage and um uh, after room there it is uh 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 do I need their exit is that is that what I need here Come on, bees. Get to work. Ah. So it looks like we've got some notifications built up. New BPD content. Here's the BPD. I want to check this out. Oh, this gives you all kinds of tips. That is awesome. Tutorials, it tells you about the different resources, so important. Yeah, one of the things I really remember I had a hard time with early on was telling the difference between some of these resources. But that is super helpful. Oh, oh, did it save? It did. So. I love the animated transitions between uh, the menus. That was really good. A nice countdown on Chidi, our current queen. 
Oh, we should probably adjust this population stuff. Get some more foragers. Oh, we should probably get some defenders. So we're gonna need barracks. To a barracks. Yes. That was one of the first things I, I, I know I asked for tooltips. And so that actually makes you really, really happy that they're there. Welcome, Martin Owens. Oh, we're full up again. Oh, actually deleted us though. Oops. We are full up again on resources. Let's get, let's spend some of those resources. I do wish uh, you could pause and, can you? Yeah, you can't pause and spend. Uh, on research. That is awesome to like have have both disaster and easy to come back. Oh, we need more storage for is this wax? Yeah. Storage. Oh, but we can't get racks. That's one of the research upgrades is the wax storage. There we go. It's underway. Oh, I accidentally switched research. Let's go back to the wax storage. Axie. All those stacks of wax. Actually, another thing I really like about this game is the way it handles, uh, it doesn't seem to mind that I'm in uh, a weird multi monitor mode. Uh, when nobody's looking, Martin Owens makes little maps of the hive to give to friends gifts. What a nice, what a nice set of gifts. Research. Storage just done. Oh, it automatically went to the next research. Perfect. So now, build some wax storage. No research complete stuff. Notifications. Building some wax storage. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. We have a lot of wax. Uh, we can upgrade our workshop. Go to research. Our throne room upgrades. Then there's, I know the, the jelly was a thing. What's, what's the jelly situation? How do we get more jelly again? Jelly refinery. Which we do not currently have the ability to do. Dead cells is so good. I have, um... I have, what is it, uh, Hand of Fate. I think one. I don't know if I have two, but I need to 
That was a game I really wanted to check out. Let's upgrade while we're here because we don't want to sit on resources. I keep our BPM up. Comes with a figurative guarantee. A hive to hive sales grasshopper <laughs> stops by. Uh, with a, an offer to demonstrate a fancy device for converting pollen directly to jelly. This process comes with a lot of disclaimers. No warranty and clearly less thorough, thorough testing than is implied. Sounds dodgy or sounds exciting? What do you think, chat? Is this something we should go for? You can vote on it with hashtag A or hashtag B. Hashtag A is so sounds dodgy or B is sounds exciting. I'm not sure which it is. But you can vote on it in chat. Right now, hashtag B is, is winning. Which is gonna be A or B? Sounds like we're gonna go with sounds exciting. Let's go with it. We're gonna check out this this uh Fancy device. And now we have full jelly. That is uh, very helpful. On his sales grasshopper. A new, P new Bpedia. Entry on grasshoppers. Grasshoppers spend a lot of time traveling and while they don't always land where they intend, they do tend to land in interesting situations. Many grasshoppers are forgetful, perhaps from too many headfirst landing. <laughs> Grasshopper fact number three, grasshoppers typically sing by rubbing their hind legs against their bodies, a process known as stridulation. That's cool. Learning things every day, that's good to do. Um. <laughs> Well, now we have jelly. Do we? We probably don't have enough jelly, do we? Probably still need more. Ten new research op options are now available: barracks, honey refinery, jelly refinery, honey storage, jelly storage, nursery upgrade, map room. Dot dot dot. Let's check out these research options. Sell this. This tells you how many you have. Good, good, good. Let's get work on these upgrades. Now we've got our uh, our. Uh, workshop upgraded. So jelly storage. Barracks. I kind of want to get all the bases covered to go with the barracks right away. Writing's good. And uh, the brainstorming sessions. Oh my gosh, I love the the math. Gift vote is going on now. You can vote uh, in the chat. Hashtag one for small bees. Hashtag two for wide bees. Or hashtag three for show event. Uh, which I guess will give us a, se a special event. So you can vote in the chat for that. You've got a minute, about a minute left. Uh, actually, I'm going to pause it for just a second so that our viewers can catch up. Uh, but your chats will still be, your, your chat uh, votes will still be counted. Uh, small bees sounds very funny. <laughs> oh no, construction is mysteriously completing on its own. I don't think I heard about that bug.
Oh, I've got a question mark here on the ex on one of the exits. It's not that bad. Popularity haunts Nika on social media, but they're okay with it. It's good. Okay, so I've got full resources, so I really want to spend these resources. Got some votes in the chat. Kind of toss up between small bees and show event right now, but feel free to get your vote in. I'll make sure I uh, get some pauses in there so you, everyone gets a chance to vote. Got about another minute left on that. Uh, and we re our research is going. Make sure that we're working on everything we can. I guess I should build some more storage cells, huh? Actually, just more cells all overall. There we go. Of course, I can use shift to repeat build commands. That is, I'm so glad it tells you again. A few seconds left for the vote. Uh, still a tie between one and three, so either small bees or an event. Rainy season. Looks like we got the. It looks like perhaps the event ran it, uh, one out. Yes, this this event was triggered by chat. Perfect. Uh, it doesn't leave you guessing. That's very smart. Uh, so it says it's really coming down now. Nectar will dilute before foragers and workers return, but they be able to focus on collecting more pollen. That is sad. We'll get more pollen out of it. So we've got this rainy season that lasts for uh, just about two minutes, a little under. We should build another wax assembler, shouldn't we? Oh, I don't know. We definitely need more storage. Is there an adjacency bonus for... For any of this? I don't think there is, right? Wax. Wax assembler. Yeah, with running into those overruns, we should definitely build another wax assembler. This wax seems to be the slowest thing to come by. So uh, the question in the chat, has Nick played this? I don't think Nick has. I think I've tried a few different times to get this onto the Nick Brecken Idle Thumbs list. I don't think it's come up yet. I know that they're pretty far behind also. It's true. Infrastructure does nothing without labor. The workers are essential. Perhaps we should build another nursery. Two. Another reason why I really like the way this integrates with Twitch is because uh, my Twitch chat is never accurate on all of the systems that I use to view Twitch chat. So like one of the, I'm looking at a phone right now, um, a computer, and I always see different views of Twitch. <laughs> it's very frustrating. But the game actually shows a pretty accurate view, it seems like. 
41 nurseries. 100B challenge. 100B baby challenge. We'll date in a map room. Dive new can beat five of a kind. Ta Thorn, excuse me, I thought that was a Tom. Like a thumb with an H. But it's a Thorn. Has been losing cards to a Weevil for weeks. Emily thinks it's just bad luck that the Weevil gets such amazing good, like, good hands. Try and make a lesser of two weevils here, Joke, but I'm just not getting it. Perfect. <laughs> I I never got into I've tried before to get into Monkey Island, but I never did. It's a shame. This this is pollen. Ooh, is there no There's pollen storage. I stole the the lesser of two evils joke from um, that famous movie Master and Commander. I'm sure it's also from way before that too. Warm season. It's that time when warm air opens up all the flowers. Foragers and workers will be able to collect more pollen nectar. That's good. Oh, the BPD topic on weevils, on beetles. BPD topic on weevils. <laughs> New BPD topics. Oh, the, ba the barracks, place where defenders can take breaks and stay in shape between patrols. Uh, barracks allow defenders to be trained and provide defense to surrounding cells for a short time after being visited by a defender. Okay, so this does have some adjacency to it. I love the icon iconography of the um, the cell in here too. It's actually really good. Uh, you can also manage outside deployment of defenders here. Perfect. You should buy some bees. Some bar building about the weather. Tips. Interesting. Okay. Oh no, let's get to it naturally. I'm having fun with this. This is good. This is actually perfect for a chill after Duolingo and Memorize stream. Oh, we've got a new research option. I should definitely be checking my research. Sell upgrades, honey storage, jelly storage. Ooh, I really want jelly storage, but I need more this is nectar. More nectar. Let me get my nectar storage up. Oh, totally. Yeah, the. I could see getting more upset about this, but I'm not going to. Got plenty of time. Get some new cells up. And we've got a new vote. A new gift vote. Fireworks. Oh my gosh. Number one. So vote number one in the chat for fireworks. Vote number two for kill foragers. Vote three for big bees. I hope you don't kill the foragers. Please vote for fireworks. I really want to see that. That is number one in the chat. <laughs> I get my own chat B. Nice. Love it.
Yeah, I think the the multi monitor stuff is so important. Like, like like I said earlier, it's really nice the way it works right now, where I'm able to stream this and mouse over to uh, my my other computer. Oh, you're so mean, Mrs. Nuclear Monster. You want to kill the foragers? That's no good. This wants to make it harder. Uh, faster building. Yep, 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 yep. That is a good thing. I love that it's like not afraid to keep reminding you of something. Your help. Oh, we got the fireworks. Look at the fireworks. Awesome. Oh, I should, I should turn off the depth of field real quick. I hope it didn't ruin the fireworks. Uh, how do I turn off the depth of field? This is off by default, by the way. It's a cool effect, but I want to see the fireworks. Fireworks are mouse sounds? I would never have known. I think you recorded the bees buzzing though, right? Yeah. Here we go! I'm not, I don't want to even talk over this. This is so good. I love the Beatles. I guess I'll have to, the tickets to ride. The rock, sens rock sensation, the Beatles. I guess they're a sensation on a nearby rock. <laughs> or playing at the base of a nearby tree. Coincidentally, the hive's roll populations have all dropped, except foragers, which has increased dramatically. That is so funny. Can't blame them. So good. That it, that actually was so funny when we thought that Animal Crossing had broken. Like I thought the bu the sound buffer had broken Animal Crossing because there was a cricket noise that was just continuously playing. And it turned out to be an actual cricket. <laughs> Real enough. Jem Jemba, excuse me, Jenaba uh, likes to use their spare time to research fake bee upgrades in celebration of friends' achievements and gives each one a little research plaque for their skills. Oh, let's see. Uh, let's get on to our research. Need to be doing more research. A, B, R, always be researching. We need a jelly refinery still. I need to get more of that thing, which is honey. Get more honey. Oh, we don't have honey storage. I need honey storage.
This is good. I should probably build the barracks that I researched. Okay, so that was something I was curious about. If the population sliders were specific to each, but they are not, which is good. Apologize for the a little burpee today. Oh, what is this? We have too many foragers. Any more exit cells? Oh, look at this. Here we go. This is our little map of the of of coverage. Oh, this is shows the patrolable area that's shown with color. And so these are the barracks covered, defended cells, and then undefended cells. Okay, so th these ones at the edge here are undefended. Got it. Yeah, it makes sense that it's that it's it's all just, uh, representative, which is good because like as you get larger and larger. Or a larger and larger uh, hive. You're going to want. Uh, easier access to what's going on. So let's check. Oh, we got a barracks day. Into the groove. Bexia always puts their favorite Crowded Laos song on repeat. <laughs> Let me go out on patrol. We were just listening to Crowded House, actually. What is their song? What was their song? It was, um... Gosh. The romantic song we were just listening to in the car earlier today. Oh, I passed away. R.I.P. me. Me B. R.I.P. B. R.I.P. me. B. There's another one of me. Ha ha ha, I made a new one. Uh, what else do we need? We need all kinds of stuff. We need we need honey storage, but we need more honey to do that. So we need honey production. How do we get honey? I need to research it, I think. Oh, I built something. What did I build? An exit. Perfect. That's fine. Let's get another barracks over here, actually, while we're at it. One thing I need a reminder of is how many bees. What limits the number of bees is the nurseries increase your population limit. Okay. Got it, got it, got it. Okay. So I actually probably want a ton of those. Huh. 
And then we need to go back to... I probably should get more of these uh, workshops. But we're going to have right now... We've got storage for honey. But we need a refinery. So important. Let me get another workshop. Where's our population? Uh, 27 of 39. Perfect. <laughs> good. We've got uh, good coverage. Yeah. Okay. So we're actually going to want to build out this way. Get this hive grooving. That is a very good detail on the crowded house. Did let me look at their song list. Good night, Mrs. Nuclear Monster. Thank you for joining us. Check on crowded house. What was there? Ouvre. Oh, wow. Yeah, Don't Dream It's Over. That was the song we were listening to. That's like their main hit. I wonder... Yeah, I bet, I, I, I bet that uh, different... I bet different songs hit different in different countries, like literally, like. Oh, wow. This is cool, this forging screen. A lot of detail here. Ooh. What does this cost? This costs. Oh, I need more foragers. Okay. Not quite the best. Aya thinks maybe Queen Chidi might be a bit overrated. Wow, okay. Drama in the hive. That is actually definitely not having the effect I wanted to. The mix on this music is actually really good. The stereo mix. A helpful hand. A guild of carpenter bees is touring hives in the area, hoping to raise its profile by offering resources and semin seminars on wax best practices. So what do you think, chat? Does that sound sus? Or sounds nice? I'm going to vote. Sounds nice. That's a hashtag B. Uh, but if you think different, you can vote for hashtag A. It looks like most of us on are on hashtag B for sounds nice. Which I agree. So we're going to go with hashtag B sounds nice. We're going to see if we can get some more wax best practices. And we have, we have uh, full storage now in our wax. So that makes sense. Totally. Like, there's so much talent on display here, uh, and having someone that focuses on that, which I think is so important and brings so much life to the game. So we got some, uh, and we actually have that B PDS. So let's check that out for the Beatles. These resources management world. Here's the Beatles. I like how they've got a beetle icon, a kind of scarab. Beetles are typically musically inclined. Some of the greatest composers of all times are beetles. Johann, Johann Sebastian Bark Beetle, <laughs> Antonio 
Fivelvid. <laughs> Excuse me, my German is trying is trying to uh, uh, break me down here. Antonio <laughs> Weevil D <laughs> instead of Vivaldi. And Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart to name a few. Wait, wait. What was what was Beatley or Buggy about Amadeus Mozart? <laughs> I guess the funny joke is just not changing at all. <laughs> yeah, it's just his name. <laughs> That's good. I like it. Erwig van Beethoven is often mistaken for Beethoven, but was in fact a member of the original of the order Dermapter. Derma Dermapter. That's good. Probably a deep cut joke on Beethoven. Actually, I down. I finally uh, borrowed the movie Amadeus and mean to check it out. Then we got beetle fact number two here. Beetles are the largest order of insects, with estimates of the total number of species ranging from one to two million. Oh, I bet actually you could read this better if I uh, uh, lowered my screen resolution, but I don't want to try that in the middle of a game. Not for quality assurance reasons, but just because it's going to be fiddly. And I like right now that I can see a whole ton of the cells in the hive. Uh, so we've got full everything. We need to research. We need to get things done. Great network shop. Let's get some research. Oh, research is still going on for the honey refinery. This is like civilization style. It actually takes time. That's good. We've got new research options, barracks upgrade, honey storage. Let's look over here. So we got we can use some more wax assemblers. We are full up on all of our resources. We really need to build, 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 build. Be busy bees. Good job, cheese. You did. You did. Those are excellent puns. Some more exits. Let's get um, some more cells over here. Yeah. What are we researching right now? It looks like we're researching. Uh, honey refinery. Yep. Actually. Oh, we got a gift vote. Um, I was going to comment on the UI here because I think it's interesting that when you get the back option, your um, your it, it grays out the other options, which is actually good because even if you couldn't read, you might be able to understand, or if you didn't, if English wasn't your native language, you might be able to understand that this is going to not let you do those things. So gift vote is up. Uh, gift vote number one in the chat for, so it's hashtag one for give nectar. Uh, number two for queen hat. Number three for spawn defenders. And number four for give us an event, show an event. I like the event system. Um, obviously the thing it makes me think of is FTL. I mean, it's obvious, but yep. Give me the good, you Good tool tips right now. Looks like we're going for number two. You got 40 seconds left on that. I'll try to pause it here just so that we get uh, more time to for everyone to uh, think about their votes. But it looks like we're going for Queen Hat for Cheaty. Let's just build some more storage, shouldn't I? Oh, Massive Chalice. That was a game. Wait, where did I play that? Oh, I've only got one second left on the GIF photo. I'll pause it right here. But yeah, Massive Chalice, I played. 
put a couple hours into that, but I, I didn't stick with it uh, for whatever reason. Flotilla, ooh. Yeah, Flotilla is an interesting game. That's um, that's from the person what made uh, who made uh, a, is it Atomic Zombie Smasher? Oh, that's a game I love. I need to go back to that someday. It's been a while. I think Atomic Zombie Smasher. Was it? it was. And then they worked on the, the games that used the Doom engine. Doom 3 engine. Oh my gosh. So much history here. Was that, was that Brendan Chung? Is that their name? Yeah, Blendo Games. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't spend a lot of time with the Flotilla. But I did love uh, Adam Zombie Smasher. Yeah. Hive life. Typical day at the Wax Assembler. Let's find out about the Wax Assembler life. Crafts, the Crafts Bees Mark. They know that nobody will ever see it, but Helmut, take, Helmut takes pride in signing their name on the bottom of every block of wax they make. That is really cool. I love it. Thanks, Helmut. As Cheese says in the chat. It is the right thing to do. The workers. All the love to the workers. A new hat for Cheaty. Yeah, we got the hat. <gasps> Wasp Clan! Yes, we are protected by defenders! This image is great. A nearby Wasp Clan is out waiting for waiting for nectar. Thankfully, all nectar stores are adequately protected, and the hives defenders are able to focus on protecting the, pop the population. Uh oh, is that a typo? Population? Population. Oh, you did a great job because I think the uh, the lighting on this is terrific. Is this a pun or a typo? Population. <laughs> I have to know. I'm so sorry. <laughs> no worries. <laughs> I'm glad I could I help. I want to help. I, I'm hoping that this is helpful. I'm sorry. I cannot turn off. I it it's bad that I have that part of my, my brain that does that, but th that's why I do. Glad it's appreciated. <laughs> uh, honey research, honey refinery. This game is so good. Uh, honey refinery is almost done. I'm a little worried. Oh, we got an auto save going. That's good. Oh, we've got. I guess we still got plenty of time for GD, but I do. Oh boy, two new research options. Uh, honey refinery is complete. We can refine that honey. Oh, it's got a different shape too. It's a good shape though. Search options. Search. Jelly storage. I need to focus. Uh, jelly refinery. Oh, we definitely need that. Oh, and I also need. Um, there's probably a bunch of upgrades here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Map room upgrade. Wax storage upgrade. Honey storage upgrade. Throne room upgrade. So it looks like we need. Yeah, we need to up that map room. Oh, my chappy passed away again. I'll be back. Ha 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 ha. So what are these, I love that this pauses so you can follow the bee or you can, uh, I think, ban the bee if they're being disruptive, if they'd be disruptive. That's good.
Research complete. Oh, the map room upgrade research is already complete. Wow, that's fast. Here's our map room. Oh, what? What do we not have enough of? Oh, we don't have enough map rooms. All right, well, we'll build another map room. The build shape indicator to the right of the cost. Oh, oh, I see, I see. Okay, I didn't key onto that color. Oh, so there's hidden stuff here in terms of, like there's a, oh, there's a penalty. Cause like I can't, like that's not useful. So I'm probably gonna wanna like build it over here. Hmm. Oh, we got a map room info. You can never tell turn wise from Wittershins. Sh Witter <laughs> this is the map room. A uh, place where foragers can check their foraging routes. Map rooms allow foragers to be trained, which you can harvest resources outside the hive at an increased rate. You can also explore and manage the foraging zones that are visited by foragers and workers here. Wait, what? Wittershins is a real word? What? That's, that's not a real word. Oh, a Discworld reference? Possibly. That I'd buy. I just... That's so silly. Uh... Blah, blah, blah. Let's get some... More cells going. Uh... That's funny. I've never heard Wittershin so far. Oh, I've got gift vote going on for small bees. Loose hunt, lose honey, not loose. Loose honey sounds like a real bad problem. <laughs> lose nectar. So we can, uh, we've got some real penalties coming up here. Please vote for number one in chat. Vote for number two or three if you uh, want me to, to suffer a little bit, which is fine because I've kind of got full on resources, but. You know, it's up to you. Still cannot upgrade the map room. What are we missing? Oh, it's... Looks like it's real specific about the layout here. That's okay. You know, build some more. Yep. Wait, what? I'm even going to build a third. Then over here, well, what do we want next? It's interesting that the upgrades can be, um, it's, it's very interesting to me that the upgrades can be, can require geometry that you didn't already have. But it doesn't seem like it seems like this game is pretty focused on not penalizing to you too much, so you can definitely come back to uh, change things out. Oh, we got penalized. We got the resource change. We lost. Uh, which resources? We lost honey. Wah, wah. Oh, we also got small bees. Our tiny bees. They're so small. We got wee bees.
We have no bee sitters. We can't bee leave it. There we go. Got one new bee sitter. We should prioritize those bee sitters. Oh yeah, the, the construction bug. So what happened with that? How'd that... Okay, what should we build? Let me do our upgrade mech room. There. Yes. We should build some more storage. He's just talking about a bug that they had with the game in the chat. They said, um, mysteriously construction would, would be completed automatically. And they said that, uh, they took a screenshot of the game for something else and noticed a speck of dust on their screen. They couldn't wipe off. And after further investigation, they found a three pixel, uh, sized bee that had been running around the hive doing stuff. That's so funny. So early on, they had the exits doing a forced perspective thing where bees would shrink as left the hive. And sometimes they weren't coming back to full size, so they were doing the work. It wasn't, uh, it was, was sound mysterious, but it was a, a tiny, tiny micro bee. It said, my buildings are all being constructed by micro bees. Pollination teams can now be sent from map rooms. But the forecast said fine. Last week, Martin Owens got lost in a sudden rain shower and was stuck outside the hive under our mushroom overnight until a party of foragers found the the next day. I'm glad the foragers found them. All right. Still need more explorers, more foragers. Uh, oh, but we can actually get them now because we have all these map rooms. That's good. Any refinery. This over here. Put some more cells. Uh, uh, oh yeah, we're getting the tutorial recommendation of hit shift. It's a good recommendation as I seem, seem to keep forgetting it. I really like strategy games where you don't have direct control over units. Uh, one of my favorite old strategy games, uh, and, and I only knew about it because it was poor into Linux and it was, so it was one of the few natively available Linux games was, um, Majesty. This is a strategy game where you could set like basically bounties and then units within the kingdom would go perform tasks for you. And I always thought that was so cool. And then there, of course, there are a bunch of games like, um, oh boy, what is it? Let me take a look. My Steam library, because I'll see the, I'm sure I'll see the name Freedom Fighters. Is that it? Yeah, IO Interactive's old uh, PlayStation 2 Xbox, original Xbox era game. Freedom Fighter is a game where you control character, where you can send character, get a, a squad mates who will go and do stuff for you. And yeah, Space Base. There's a whole lot of games out there that uh, I love. Space 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 Base DF9 broke my heart so much, and it's such a shame that there wasn't a community. At least as far as I know, I don't think a big community formed around that. I think the source code was released for that game. but I don't think uh, anyone really ended up working too much on it. Maybe there were like a couple community patches, but I, I tried to hang out in the IRC channel for Space Base DF9. I don't think too many people ended up working on it. Could be wrong. 
but I love Space Race Thief Dine. I've definitely seen a ton of games that are clearly inspired by it. I think some of them may even be a little bit too inspired, if you know what I mean. But the um, I love I love Space Race. Weird uh, wiggly thing going on with the hive when I mouse over some of these units. I didn't really notice that before. Oh, this is showing me what's protected by this barracks. Got it. Oh my gosh, I had no idea. That's terrible. Oh, we've got a gift vote going on though. Uh, in the chat, so you can vote number one for give jelly or small bees. Small bees or give jelly, either sounds fine. We've got plenty of resources right now. And we've got an event here, or a notice, that says they're all asking for tipple, for little badges. A new buddy cop film breaks box office records, inspiring a portion of Hive's population to become defenders. Good ones. Nice. I like the uh, pose going on here. Oh, that's definitely a bug. The last that keeps popping up. So there's a, uh, I, I keep seeing a, a, a chat notification. Oh, okay. So we're, we're losing, we're getting some chat uh, deaths. So it's not a bug. It's an intentional, it's a feature. They say it lasts apparently when they perish. That makes sense. The number of bees have switched roles. Good for them. Up there in the jobs they want. And we've still got about 30 seconds left on this vote. I'll pause the, the game so you can catch up to it. You can uh, hit a hashtag one for give jelly or hashtag two for small bees. Actually, at some point I should save and because uh, I want to also check out uh, bat egg. I haven't checked out bat egg yet. That's the thing I want to get done. Typical day nursery. Uh, sometimes it just doesn't work out. Brett and Glenn had an argument a while back. Glenn hasn't accepted Brett's apology. It hurts, but Brett knows it's important to respect that. That's interesting. Oh, I guess they got the apology, but didn't accept it. Yeah. That is sad about Space Race. I, I played a lot of that game and I got super into it. I wasn't super involved in the community of it, but I definitely uh, I definitely loved it. I wonder how much time I spent on it. Let me check. I know I, know I can tell. Space Race. 2017. I, play, uh, I guess not that much. I only put 10 hours in it. 10 to 10 and a half hours, but boy, I loved... Something about it. it was so perfect for me. A few seconds left in this vote. If I spend my jelly. A community management stuff. Was, was real tough, or is always tough. I I did professional online community management for years. I guess I still sort of do uh, unprofessionally yes, in that I'm not paid for it, but um, yeah, trying to help in situations like that and like help the community understand and help, help the business understand the community uh, and especially with Double Fine, who I know cares so much about their community. Um, yeah, that's rough. I 
Oh, we got our gift. Fire storage was full. Oh, all right. I need to be building more. What's our storage situation? Can we build? We still, we need to research more. What's the research situation? Got upgrade for that. Oh wow, we need more storage still. Upgrade. We can do a nursery upgrade. Ooh. We can upgrade nurseries so that clusters of nurseries can be upgraded. Upgrade nurseries further increase bee sitter population capacity. And the high population limit. Ooh, I have a chance to spawn two bees at once. Barracks upgraded. We still got a little bit of time here. Let's do. Let's see what else we got. Can I follow up on bee upgrades? Jelly storage. That's important. Jelly refinery. That's so important. Jelly refinery. We need the this one. Honey. We need more honey. Let's get some honey storage. Yeah. Then we're going to build some other storage over here. So looks like we need more of everything, basically. That is such a terrible situation. Thanks for telling us more about it in chat, geez. I am... Um... Yeah, I... I, I feel so bad for anyone trying to ship a game. It's like all the conditions that people have to work under and then... Yeah, it's rough. I, uh... Boy, I don't know if that overlapped or not, but at the time I had, or at some point there, I had some very limited action reactions with Double Fine folks. What was I doing? I was, uh, I was doing a charity thing where they would come by it was Umlaud, the rock band charity thing. That, and that kind of reminds me, I should relate that experience to someone else who's big into rock band. But uh, Tim, Sh I met Tim Schaefer there and a couple other people who worked at Double Fine. And also, uh, what was the other thing? We, we worked, um, another thing I did had an event in the same building as Double Fine for a long time. I didn't. Re I didn't really know anyone there. I don't think. Windy season. It's blowing quite the gale out there. Most pollen will blow away before foragers and foragers and workers can collect it. But they'll have more time for finding nectar. Hey, at least there's something good to come out of it. How are we doing on, oh, good. it looks like we've got plenty of a lot of stuff. So let's go check out our research. Jelly storage, we can finally do it, yes. And jelly refinery too. With the jelly refinery lock, unlocking. In progress. We are making good progress to get to helping out the hive. Always have a queen. Look our defenses here. I don't want to get uh, too slack about them. Oh, we do have some tiles outside of the zone. A Lord of the Smells, Dahlia brought in a drunk stink bug last week who turned out to be the influential mayor of an upstanding Jung Bung Beetle community. That is funny. Let's, let's build. I'm going to try sort of not quite min-maxing, but
I'm gonna try building out a little bit before I build my next defender barracks. Just so that the coverage I get doesn't overlap as much, I hope. It looks like you don't, maybe you don't quite get a preview exactly of what will be covered. Yeah, like the community investment in a project is so tough. Um, yeah, Inkscape though definitely has so much momentum. Like people look, that is a name. That is the thing. Yeah, like I get a preview here. And it looks like unfortunately it didn't cover some of these tiles that I do need to be covered. So maybe I'll build another one a little bit less far out. Yeah, I need to build another one a little bit less far out. Yeah, there's you definitely don't want to overload the UI too much with like interface. That would be that that's it's it's so tricky and like I really appreciate how much of this is accessible. Like as someone who struggles with uh UI layers and especially in like games like SimCity that so often re rely on color and then have minimal if any other method of understanding them. Like this, this, like I figured out what this was. I don't, I'm not sure actually if you, if, if the chat had to tell me on this one or if I figured it out, but like, I feel like I figured it was, it was a very good method. I've kind of got off track here a little bit, forgotten what I'm working on. Long, slow road. A party of snail monks have stopped by the hive on their way to see the sunrise from the top of the tree. They humbly request that their pilgrimage be blessed with honey to please their slime gods. <laughs> uh, so chat, do you think we should give these snail monks uh, some honey to please their slime gods or not? You can vote with hashtag A in the chat for no thanks or hashtag B for let it drizzle. Give, the, give those snail monks the, the honey. It's up to you. We've got some honey to share, so it would not be a problem at all to share that honey. Uh, looks like folks in the chat are interested in um, letting it drizzle, and so am I. I think that's the right decision to make, chat. We're all good folks here, it sounds like, so we're going to let that let that honey drizzle out. Help out our friends. Oh, we lost a lot. Wow, okay. That's fine. Good to use it. Maybe a BPD entry for snails. Snails are often seen as slow, but the truth is that they just prefer to be considered in the things that they do. An old snail saying says, it's not worth going somewhere unless it's worth taking a long time to get there. That's funny. Uh, so recycled slug fact number three, like slug snails have two pairs of retractable tentacles. Ooh. Oh, those things. Ooh, oh gosh. I don't. Want to think about those? The upper pair. The upper pair service stalks for eyes while the lower pair are small organs. Let's close. Let's get out of here. I don't want to see their weird tentacles. <laughs> well, we don't have enough bee sitters. Tried to optimize for bee sitting, but I think maybe we're, we're building back.
Yeah, no, I don't. I don't think the. I mean, I don't think the inf- interface is super rough. I, I think the inf- interface is good. I, I think that there's. I think the scaling of it could be an issue, but like, you can definitely learn it on your own. Um, to be fair, though, like I'm not a, a clean tester. Like I, you know, I've played this before. So who knows? Like, and I'm also a pretty technically savvy person to think, but maybe not getting older but I do have a lot of experience a lot of different games so it's hard to say it's midlife crisis time it's the mid- queen's birthday and not just any birthday the big old one slash two halfway through a queen's average lifespan exciting times looks like the queen's midlife crisis they bought a convertible that is totally appropriate on brand yeah the for- the forging and defense screens I-, I guess I'd probably agree about those being a little clunky here we are uh, go through the day for the defender gripping Atmos. Amos is known across the hive for telling the best listless stories. Carmen's favorite is the one about sculpting abject horrors with hyper realistic detail. Oh my gosh. I should be looking at my research. Should research. Here we go. Research. A jelly refinery is still in progress. Good, 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 good. That is of the utmost importance, especially as we reach halfway point on our uh, cheese cheese lifespan. We appreciate everything cheese has done, but we gotta keep looking towards the future. Foraging and pollination. Here we go. Oh, we finally have enough to explore and reveal new zones or to create a high yield resource. Hmm. I almost want to pollinate something. What does that use up that's using up this stat here? As soon as pollinated, we'll, we'll yield additional resources once flowers bloom. Zone already pollinated. Okay. We did it. We did the thing. A new hybrid pollen nectar bloom has been detected in currently selected foraging zone. Good news, everyone. I probably don't need the extra resources right now, but that's okay. Learning the game is a resource for me. Uh, I don't know why. How can I bless cheese so they can say whatever they want? <laughs> Twitch chat. Twitch decided to hold a chat message for some reason. Ah. Uh, Oh, it's so cool. So a uh, cheese in the chat says that, uh, so that vignettes, the little event that came up or the, the message on the screen said, uh, well, she said, so that vignette has a bunch of blanks that are substituted in listless could have been funny or sad or a bunch of other emotional states and abject horrors could have been talking to pet rocks or cooking or dressed up as a wasp or arson or model trains. That's so cool. Uh, that's, that's one of my favorite ways to make like little comedy pieces like I've got a, a Twitter bot called Rando Star Trek that comes up with silly things uh, and it, that's that's the way it does it just plugs a bunch of nonsense together until it hopefully comes up with something funny and I think that's a great way to make funny things out or good things or just whatever you know fill up fill up some things with more things Okay. Still need more. We're still, yeah, we're still researching here. Almost done. 
I guess now our defenders are deployed. Let's check on foraging situation. You get some more exploration. Oh, we can explore an unexplored zone. We did it. Or we're doing it. We got a new zone explored. Looks like you probably want to pollinate the zones. Oh, we got the jelly refinery. Yeah. Look at that. Refine that jelly. Yes, absolutely. The pace of this is pretty good. I'm, I'm very, I'm happy with that. No, really, for fun. Queen Chidi once spread a rumor that she is she was three stink bugs in a trench coat. That's funny. I like the look on on, on a Queen Chidi's face right now. There we go. Production is happening, but we need to spend those resources. Let's um, hmm, maybe we'll build another one. And then some more cells around it. Then check the, yeah. So we're just outside, some of these cells are just outside the uh, defense zone. This area probably needs to be defended. So I'm gonna pick, I think this cell right here to defend. What? Why is everything upside down? <laughs> oh, this is a camera flip effect. I missed that one. That's funny. That is very funny. That, that threw me for a loop. Uh, let's, uh, <laughs> this is tough. What was I gonna do? Oh yeah, I was gonna do the defenders. Looks like I did there, but maybe I wanna do it here. Then, oh, oh, it reversed the controls too? Oh no. Oh, it's very short, it's almost over. Good, this is tough. Oh, thank goodness, okay, we're back. <laughs> Let's get our research going again, because we always need to be researching. I need that jelly storage. That is absolutely so key. Let's get some more uh, foragers, actually. So I want more map rooms. fill this area out too. Let's get We got new research, we got our jelly storage upgrade. Let's build that here. Yeah. Pollen storage, honey storage, nectar storage. Good, good, good. Oh, perfect. Pilgrim's return. Oh, good, the snail monks we assisted before have returned to the hive with tales of the most pure sunlight imaginable. In appreciation of your generosity, they offer thanks by way of a ritual that seems to involve a lot of disappearing into shells for extended periods of time. Well, that's beautiful. 
Right on, snails. Glad we could help out. Oh, look at that. We've got a harvest multiplier. One of our resources boosted. I think it's honey. That is cool. The snails will remember that. Would be the telltale way. <laughs> Speaking of businesses in the bay area <laughs> that made game that made games. Uh, Telltale definitely had a more convoluted and not fun situation, but also uh, uh, the Nick Brecken we were talking about earlier, what's a Telltale? And uh, I'm not going to tell Nick Brecken's stories, but it, there's a lot of interesting ones out of that. Spoon! Jeremy hasn't been on patrol much, but is looking forward to getting out and looking after the hive. That's funny. Oh, we need 600 jelly. We gotta get on that. Give me that jelly storage. Check out research. Check out research. Gotta win. Need that upgrade. So is this jelly? Yes. So we need to build more jelly storage. Give me that jelly storage. Probably should build some more of the other kinds too. Yeah. Fell tell as well. They made some really interesting games and I was so sad about like my experience with um, Telltale's work was really kind of ruined by some technical issues where I lost my game progress in uh, the Walking Dead series. And I love that series so much. But I, I keep meaning to go back. I actually did try going back a little bit. And maybe I will again someday. It's like that, that game is, that, that series is so good. That, that engine that they used for their games, like it, and they just had so many production issues because I, I know that they were, um, you know, trying to meet like m monthly goals or weekly goals or whatever it was to ship episodic games, all that. And I'm sure trying to fix that stuff wasn't easy. So we've got a gift vote here. You can hit a hashtag one in the chat for spawn some foragers, hashtag two for a new queen hat or three for lose honey. We need to get some more storage cells here. I'm definitely trying to min-max that uh, jelly storage. Yeah. Uh, Cheese in the chat said the apple cart was being pushed way too fast for people to do their best work. And they think, and uh, yeah, I totally agree. That was what I heard from the people who worked at T Telltale. Totally. I need to check out more of Oxenfree. I beat Firewatch. I actually have the the feelies on Firewatch are so good where they send out um, you could get uh, uh, pictures from the game, screenshots. Oh, I hope I'm not spoiling it too much. It's a pretty old game at this point now. Or not super old, but I don't think they offer the service anymore. But at some point in the game, you get, uh, your character gets a camera, a disposable camera. And then at the end of the game, they gave you a link to go actually buy the photos printed out on real like, photo paper. And that is maybe the coolest or one of the coolest things I've ever seen in a video game. <laughs> like I actually have these photos in a drawer. It was so fun. Rainy season, it's really coming down now. Nectar will dilute before foragers and workers return, but they will be focus but they will be able to focus on collecting more pollen. Yeah, there was there was like really a bunch of cool indie I mean there still are. There's always cool indie adventure games, but there was some really neat ones coming out based on um based on oh, R.I.P. Martin Owens, who you, you just uh passed away in the chat. I actually 
as a as a streamer, like I can see like how useful it is to have this um, your your Twitch bees live your your chat bees uh, living or dying based on their chat, just in terms of channel growth. <laughs> Map room day, yeah. Boo! While foraging, Io likes to hide behind Snapdragon so they can jump out and startle Hubert. That's funny. Let's get some more storage going. I totally get that. Yeah, I... My time was super limited. Uh, that was... Was it 2017 maybe? When... Hey, Serial Chemist in the chat. Good to see you. Uh, we're just playing Hive Time here. And Cheese in the chat. Valiant Cheese is the creator of Hive Time. Uh, we're talking with a few other folks. A few other fine folks. And we were just talking about some different games. We were talking about Firewatch. And the really cool... Uh, foot... Uh, Photography Easter egg. I really want to play through Firewatch again. So like hearing that it's fun to play through it again and you took more time the second time. Like I actually really want to do that because there was there were some parts that I rushed to. My time was so limited and still is kind of to this day. But I think that game came out in like 2017. And yeah, I mean, the, there were some challenges that are going on at the time. So it definitely, it definitely took me... I definitely rushed through some parts of the game that I, I would have loved to spend some more time with. Let me double check. Let me check my uh, played time on Firewatch. Oh, it says it came out in 2016. Yeah. Uh, so I played, it says here I played 6.2 hours of Firewatch and I have half the achievements. That sounds about right. I love that game. Okay. Looking at a uh, Steam profile, someone that I know that's played Firewatch, or well, uh, someone I don't know. I'm just curious, who they were. Uh, so we are, how are we doing resources? So we've got quite a bit of wax. Quite a bit of pollen. Uh, it's kind of variable though. Let's check our research. So I think we should always be researching if we can. We need that wax storage upgrade. That would be good. We need jelly storage upgrade. Oh, we can do the jelly storage upgrade. Oh, got to do that right away. And maybe we should prioritize building another facility for production. Oh, looks like we need more of one of these resources. It's this one, it's nectar. So we'll let that accumulate for a second. And I'll build some more cells while we're here. Yep, yep, yep. Getting tutorialized. I'm so glad for the gentle way it tutorializes to remind you again, you can hit the shift key. It's probably the fourth time I've mentioned it, but uh, I still don't seem to be learning. All right, we can build that jelly refinery now. We got an event here. I'm selling these fine yellow jackets. Uh, a performing wasp construction crew held several shows near the hive recently. Uh, inspiring a portion. Excuse me. Oh my gosh, it's getting late here in Hawaii, in, uh, Hawaii time. I think we're gonna have, unfortunately probably gonna have to shut down the stream not too long because I need to, I still have work I need to do in the morning, but I'll get through this event maybe. Uh, I'm selling these fine yellow jackets. A performing wasp construction crew held several shows near the hive recently, inspiring a portion of the, of the hive's population to become builders. They're not too bad at it. Good times. This is funny.
Well, being builders, not a bad thing at the moment. Hopefully it doesn't impact our goals too much. Mm -hmm. Low on bee sitters, they'll probably get more soon. Thank you, Cheese. Glad you're having fun. I'm having fun too. This is, I, I'm kind of shocked how fast the time has flown by here. Or, uh, so we've got a gift vote in the chat. This will probably be the last one. You can hit hashtag one in the chat to vote for give nectar. Hashtag two for lose wax. Please don't do that. That'd be mean. And hashtag three for spawn workers. Yeah. I've got a day in life of the nursery. We got about a minute left on that uh, vote. Almost pleasant. Nika knows that grubs are meant to smell bad, but they kind of like it. That's totally relatable. Some more jelly storage. New queen cheese hat. <laughs> and it is the block of cheese hat. That is funny. It is cute. Good times indeed. Heaps of fun. I can't believe it's so late. It's almost 3 a.m. here. My uh, resource is a little precarious. So I don't have enough of the other resource generation going on. Uh, let me check out my research. How to use my sugar. Oh my gosh. Very be very on topic. Uh, uh, song, Zero Chemist. Thank you for sharing that. We're still in progress on our jelly storage upgrade. I love that you can switch uh, research and keep going. I should probably build some more uh, workshops, huh? Shouldn't I? I think it'll help us get further along. Faster. Oh my gosh, a TNG marathon. I'm wearing a LeVar Burton shirt right now from TNG where he's Commander Jordy LaForge. This is a very nerdy shirt. This is a pun I think you might appreciate, uh, Cheese. Uh, this shirt has Commander of the Forge on it and it says, here let me get a little bit in frame. Oh, it's hard to see. Okay, well it says I've got 99 problems, but a breach ain't one. <laughs> That's the perfect music to play us off. Uh, but yeah, this is this shirt was a gift and I really appreciate it. I am super into TNG. TNG TNG was a uh, a show that really helped me out as a as a kid. Star Trek: Next Generation. I I watched a ton of that. I went to conventions when I could. I I even got uh, the the uniform. I think I was a gold colored. Yeah, 
And then actually, I got to meet LeVar Burton once at a gaming convention of all places. He was giving a talk. And I showed up and a coworker of mine who loves also loves Star Trek showed up. And that was it. That was like, I think there might have been a third person in the audience. <laughs> it felt so bad for LeVar. But he did great. He's still great. Let me, this dude, consummate professional. This guy gave a great talk. Still personable. Uh, I, I was super impressed. Um, I've got actually I've got a little bit of video somewhere, a recording I did on, on my iPhone because I wasn't really expecting to record it, but it was just like such a, a weird circumstance. And I was so happy to, to see uh, LeVar Burton in person. Like also, like, of course, this guy that worked on Reading Rainbow, another show I love. Um, yeah, what a cool dude. Let's build some more storage. And maybe we should, maybe we should take the take the queue as I do need to get to bed. Uh, thank you everybody who's, who's, who's been watching. Uh, I'm gonna double check and make sure we get a good save here. I come back to this uh, maybe tomorrow night. I, I, I'm a little disappointed we didn't get to go check out um, that egg tonight, but that's okay. Got my stack of cool hives. Oh, the hexagonal, hex, hex, hexagonal um, floppy disks are a trip. That's very good. And yeah, that's how we're gonna go out on. So thank you all for tuning in. Have a good night. Have a good day. Thanks for watching Hive Time by Cheese. I really highly recommend you check out this game. It's a, a, a ten dollar game, but you can pay what you want on itch. Um, and it's like a cool Twitch integration if you stream like I do, or if you don't, you still have a ton of fun just like chilling out, building a hive. So check it out. Have a good one. Thank you.